Hello everyone and uh, thank you for coming. My name is Debbie McGreal Dinning and I am the Media Relations Officer for the Hamilton Police Service. Chief Glenn DeClaire will be uh, speaking at the news conference today and he will be followed by Superintendent Dan Kinsella. We will take a few questions after the Superintendent speaks. Good afternoon. An arrest has been made by the Hamilton Police Service in the disappearance of Tim Bosma. On May the 6th, 2013, Mr. Tim Bosma was reported missing to the Hamilton Police Service after two men attended his residence in Ancaster in relation to a truck that Mr. Bosma had for sale. Tim Bosma told his wife, Charlene, that the two males were from Toronto and they were going with him for a test drive. Tim Bosma has not been seen or heard from since. The Hamilton Police Service immediately commenced a full and comprehensive investigation related to the disappearance of Tim Bosma under the direction of Superintendent Dan Kinsella and the Investigative Support Division. Our organization is committed to the core value of the relentless pursuit of offenders. And given the nature of this unusual incident, fully trained major case investigators from the Homicide Squad were assigned to assist in the comprehensive effort that had been put forth by our investigators from Division Three. Many citizens have offered to assist in the search efforts. Many people this week have simply called us to say thanks thanks for the efforts of our officers and to show their support for this continued investigation. This, the great community of Hamilton, has rallied in support of finding Tim. In Hamilton, a crime against one is a crime against all. Officers from units across the entire city have been redeployed to this investigation and are working continuously on this case with the single goal to find Tim Bosma. Every missing person deserves the full efforts of our police services. Another value of our organization relates to cooperation and teamwork, and I want to recognize the efforts of the entire investigative uniform and support teams, and many others, all under the dedicated stewardship and leadership of Detective Sergeant Matt Cavanaugh. I have great confidence in our team. Great confidence in every member of our service, civilian or sworn. The critical members of the Hamilton Police Service who dedicate their efforts every day for the safety of our public. For the investigative briefing update, I now introduce Superintendent Dan Kinsella. Thank you, Chief. Our investigators have completed multiple production orders to gather technical evidence. We continue to solicit information from the public and wish to thank the public for the outstanding cooperation and effort, not only in Hamilton, but in Brantford and the surrounding regions. All tips from the public are being relentlessly pursued. We have fully implemented our criminal investigation management plan Missing persons policy, including ground search and rescue efforts. Activated the provincial power case process and media and social media plans. I want to thank our law enforcement partners who have helped out with investigative support, personnel and search efforts. We are assisted by the Ontario Provincial Police, the Brantford Police Service, the Toronto Police Service, the Canadian Border Services Agency, and every agency has been tremendous in the level of cooperation provided. Today, the Ontario Provincial Police and the Brantford Police Service continue to search the Oak Road area 
and citizens continue to check their video from Monday, May 6th, between 9.30 and 10.30 p.m. An arrest has been made in this case. Dellen Millard, 27 years old, from Toronto, has been charged with forcible confinement and theft over $5,000. It is believed that Dellen Millard is also the driver in the truck incident that took place in Toronto previously. Millard is the suspect with the ambition tattoo. Millard was arrested without incident while driving on Cawthra Road in Mississauga. The Bosma family has been advised of the arrest and we would ask that the public and the media respect the privacy of the Bosma family. The Bosma family are fully supported by friends, family, and our victim services branch. This is a rapid, fluid, and dynamic investigation. A rapid, fluid, and dynamic investigation that is changing. Minute to minute, and we need the cooperation of the media again today to allow us to continue our important work. Given the changing nature of the investigation, no further details will be provided at this point regarding the arrest. We will, however, return to brief the media and the public at an appropriate time in this ongoing investigation when further details are known. It is critical that we inform you of this arrest. However, it is much more important that we continue to pursue every evidentiary lead at this critical time. And we will not disclose further information in order to give our investigative team the time, respect, and support to continue their work. Information is being obtained, search warrants being prepared, and evidence is being gathered. We are encouraged with the progress of the investigation and must be cautious in our approach over the next few critical hours. Tim Bosma has not been located and our greatest priority is the welfare and locating of Tim Bosma. Anyone who knows where Tim is, please help return Tim to us. For those responsible, turn yourself in. We are very limited in our ability to respond to any questions at this point, but we will open the floor for questions now. Superintendent Cattell. Superintendent Shauna from City News. You have one man under arrest. Where is Tim? Do you still think he's alive? There's always hope. We hold out hope through the course of our investigation and we continue our search efforts in this missing person investigation. Is the suspect being cooperative? He would know where Tim is. We have uh, pursued all investigative opportunities and we will continue to do that. At this particular point in time, we have not located Tim. What about the second suspect? The second suspect has been uh, given, the description has been put out, and we continue to pursue our investigation with the information that we have. And the truck has been found? Let's have a, well, has he been identified, the second suspect? The second suspect has not been identified, and we continue to work on that. Wait, and where is the suspect appearing in court? I don't have that information. Has the pickup truck been found? I don't have that information. I believe you said he was arrested in Mississauga, is that correct? That's correct. Are there any leads that you're pursuing in the Mississauga area? We continue to pursue all leads through our tip line. We encourage uh, the public to continue to use the tip line with the number provided, and we will pursue any leads that come in 
whether through the tip line or through Crime Stoppers or any other mechanism that people can communicate to the police. Can you tell us how many tips you received? Was it cooperative? How many tips have you received from the public? We have received over 300 tips at that time, at this time, and they continue to be gathered through the tip line. Can you spell the accused first and last name for us? First name, Dellen, D-E-L-L-E-N. Last name, Millard, M-I-L-L-A-R-D. With the first suspect in custody, has he provided any information on where Tim could be? We continue to work on all investigative leads that we, we gather, and I don't have any information on that particular aspect. Do you is believe Tim is being held somewhere? One question at a time. Did he, his arrest come from a tip after the information about the tattoo was released? The arrest was made based on information that was sent in and investigative efforts of our investigative team. What was he driving at the time of the arrest? I don't have that information. It wasn't the pickup truck or that hasn't been recovered at all? I don't have that information. Should, should people be looking for, uh, keeping an eye out for the truck or is it possible that it could be in parts by now that people can, should be looking at, at parts dealers right. or different we, things like that? We continue to ask the public to report anything that they feel may be relevant to this case based on the information that has been provided through the media. We've heard about, um, just a question right at the back here, we have information about, uh, we've been hearing about uh, major police activity on the 401 near Trenton and, and pickup trucks being pulled over. Is that part of this investigation? I don't have information on that. There's been a lot of police activity on, um, down on that Old Park Road. Is that, is that where, why, why is that specific? Yesterday, we released information on the location of uh, Mr. Bosman's telephone. Uh, that area is currently being searched by both the Brantford Police Service and the Ontario Provincial Police for further evidence that may be found in that area. One more question, and then we'll uh, conclude for today. Just a matter of time before you get suspect too. We continue to pursue all leads, and uh, we hope that uh, others that may be involved uh, will be identified. And we would stress that uh, if someone can help us, help us return Tim. And if you are responsible, turn yourself in. One more question. You said you're obtaining search warrants. We do anticipate being back to brief the media Monday, unless significant develop the developments take place today. I do have a media release for you, and I'll hand that over to you at this time. Thank you. Thank you all for coming.